What is up everybody? Flame here, back again for another quick little video. Um, so I got a lot of comments on my channel, especially about Windows Defender. And for those of you who don't like Windows Defender and want to disable it, there is actually a way to fully disable it in Windows 10 Pro and Home, both. If you're on Windows 10 Education, I don't even know why you're watching this video. It's managed by education. You can't really do anything about it. So let's go here to my desktop view for a second. Yes, I'm using my streaming setup because I just wanted to start streaming later today. So it's whatever. So for those of you who are Windows 10 Pro users, you're pretty lucky. You can just go down here in your search and type GP edits. Excuse me. Edit group policy here. And uh, you can edit Windows Defender to be shut off just using the editing like within Windows 10 Pro, it's a pro feature for a reason because there's a lot of organizations that just use Windows 10 Pro and they don't want Windows Defender. They use their own antivirus. Uh, but the easiest way to probably disable it is to just go to computer configuration, administrative templates, and then scroll down until you see Windows Defender antivirus. Now, this is pretty simple, but I already disabled it fully using the registry and that's something that you can do on Windows 10 Home because it's the only way to do it. But if you didn't know, Windows 10 Pro actually has it built in. So when you scroll down here from computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, and you go down to find Microsoft Windows Defender, you can actually just check mark this little tick here to enabled. And you, congratulations, you have disabled Microsoft Windows Defender. But you have not fully yet. If you go to real-time protection, there's another thing you need to turn off as well. Here, you have turn off real-time protection, put that on enabled, and as well as behavior monitoring, you wanna shut that off too, but I don't because behavior monitoring actually is a part of Windows that it doesn't like it when you disable it, and so it'll blue screen a lot. I've had issues with that. Anywho, that's probably the still, still way to literally disable it using Windows 10 Pro. Now, the next thing is uh, using it on Windows 10 Home. Now, if you have Windows 10 Home, you're probably really familiar with this, RegEdit. This is most likely a place that you have been many times. I was editing GPU clocks earlier in RegEdit, but if you go here, and don't worry, I'm going to have the command line, or not command line, excuse me, reg edit line in the description. But essentially what you want to do is you just want to go here to H key local machine like this with the thing I gave you. Now that's not going to be there, so don't, don't copy that. Just go to the Windows Defender. I have it, but you won't. Um... Essentially, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to find Windows Defender. Now, there is going to be a problem with this script here, so I'm going to have to fix it. But you need to get rid of this on the end, disable anti-spyware, but copy it for later, and you'll be in the Windows Defender folder. If you don't already see disable anti-spyware, you click here, you hit new DWORD 32-bit value, name it exactly this. Capital D on disable, no spaces. Capital A on anti, no spaces. Capital S on spyware, no spaces. Then you're going to want to hit modify once it's been created and change the value to one, hit OK, and then quit. And congratulations, when you restart, you will have disabled Windows Defender. Anywho, thanks for watching this quick little video I made here for you guys. If you guys like videos like this, please consider subscribing. I actually put time and effort into all this research, looking through all these ways to get around the stuff that makes us gamers have less performance on Windows. And Windows Defender really was a pain in my side until I figured out how to finally disable it. And to give you any context how much Windows Defender actually sucks, it literally, on this dual-core laptop that I was optimizing for someone, was eating up almost 95 to 98% of the resources. And once I disabled it, boom, the laptop was 100% usable, and they did not have to buy a new one. All right, I just babbled on there about something I did anyway. 
just consider subscribing, maybe leave a comment, tell me what I should disable next, and I'll see you in the next video.